Well, hey, Facebook, good morning. Good morning, and happy week of leading into Mother's Day. Yes, Mother's Day is coming up. Speaking of mothers. Yes. Today is my mom, my mom, Jill Long's birthday. I almost forgot her name there. Yeah, no, <laughs> I did not. I did not. I know my mom's birthday. She's not watching yet. She's not on there, so uh, maybe we should... Uh, we should wait, wait before we singing sing. Happy Birthday. Okay. Are we going to sing Happy we Birthday? We can sing. She won't be. Oh, there she is right there. Oh, Happy Birthday, Jill. Jill. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. You Zach, you want to lead it? Happy Birthday? Sure. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday, dear mom. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. She's never going to forgive you for that one. No. Nope. You Me either, you. actually. <laughs> And so, also, before you get started, oh. happy Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you all. I have my shirt, so just wanted to make sure I got that in there real quick. Wow. Since I have to share Facebook Live with a Trekkie. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, back to business. Yes, indeed. Go ahead. For, for uh, the devotion this week leading into, of course, Sunday is going to be Mother's Day. So don't forget, you um, husbands, to get something for your wife. Get something for your mother, kids. Make sure your kids get something. Even if it's just a, a card or something that they scribble on, show mom that you care about her and that you love her on, on Sunday and really every day. It's not like we should just dump on her all year and only right, right. thank her one day, but show your mom how much you appreciate her. Uh, speaking of which, I want to read a couple of scriptures out of the very beginning of the Bible, out of Genesis. And the first one that I want to read comes out of Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. And this is something that God said after he created Adam, but before creating Eve. And so it says, Yahweh God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. Now I want to point something out, and I've pointed this out before, I think. But you know, everywhere in creation, as we're reading the Lord creating things, the Lord always finishes up by saying, you know, this is good. He's created, of course, he's created things perfect. But I find it interesting that he gets to the point of creating the man, and he doesn't, he doesn't say, this is good. He says, it is not good for the man to be alone. And so then if we were to go back, actually, prior to this, uh, in Genesis chapter 1, and read verse 27, we get a little indication of why he says that. And it says this, it says, God created man in his own image, in God's image, he created him, male and female, he created them. Now, throughout the history of the English language, when we say man or mankind, even though it's in the masculine sense, it is representing right. both genders. Now, in this day and age, everybody wants to get upset and offended by everything, and, and <laughs> they want to they change all that, but that's not the way the Bible was written. Um, and uh, this verse right here, which says that God created man in his own image, is not just talking about the male gender. In fact, it clarifies it there. It says, God created man in his own image. In God's image, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Now, the point of what I'm saying there is that God, creating us in his image, yet we're unique. I'm not built the same way that my wife is built. She's, she's different. I'm talking about everything from intellect to all the way down. We've got differences between the two of us. Okay, so... But the fact of the matter is, we are both created in the image of God, which means that God gave something, imparted something of himself into both genders. And then when we come together uh, in marriage, and, and we become one, because remember, the, the, when the, the Bible talks about this, it says the two shall become one, then the differences of the two genders are coming together, forming one complete being, and both of them represent something about the nature of God. So with that being said... Um, you know, uh, I think one thing that I'd like to point out is that when we talk about mothers, we talk about moms, and we talk about the nature of, of who they are and what they have. And, and over the past several decades, I think, in our country specifically, um, really we try and downplay the significance of moms. Um, we're, we're telling women, you know, that it's more important to go out and get a career than it is to to be a mother, um, and to raise children, but I don't understand that because there's no more important job than passing on to children mm -hmm. and creating the next generation that is 
uh, going to be godly people. And, and there's no other person in their life that is able to impact them as much as mom. And part of that has to do with the nature that God gave to mom. So, you know, God we see in the Bible has um, a very wrathful nature when it comes against sin and mm -hmm. things that, that mankind does. But we also see that he has a very loving nature. Um, that there's many times, I mean, Jesus, when he came into Jerusalem, he said, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how many times I, and there he's claiming to be God at this point, would have gathered you together as a mother hen would gather her chicks. In other words, I want to wrap my arms around you. I want to love you. There's that loving nurturing nature of God, um, and he's imparted that not, that, not that men can't have that also to some extent, but he's, he's really given that to women, and it's something that we should not try to downplay, it's not something we should neglect, it's something we should honor, um, and it's something that we should be thankful to God for. Uh, and again, the devil tries to confuse us, he tried to deceive us since the very beginning, uh, when, when he came in and tried to deceive Eve. And I think he's doing the same thing today. We see um, society trying to make men more like women and women more like men. And I don't understand that. Where we've, we are the way that, that God created us. Okay, so there's a lot of confusion out there. But um, the Lord is the one that has created us. The Lord is the one that has given us his image. And for us to look up at the Lord and say, you know what, I don't want that image, is really kind of a right. thumb in the nose to him. Uh, because... This is what the Lord has, has done, and this is the way He desired it, and the two coming together form a completeness. They form a team. Um, God was not saying that, that men are more important than women because He said it's not good for the man to be alone. He said, I'm going to make Eve, and she's gonna be, they're going to be together, and they're going to be one. So at any rate, we should honor mothers this week, but always, and we honor them because they are a representation of the very image and the nature of God. Um, so when a, when a child goes and runs up to a, his mother, you know, that's interesting with Shelly and I, with our kids, if Shelly's not there, then the kids will come running up to me when, when they fall because I'm second best when it comes to that. <laughs> but if Shelly and I are both there and one of them were to fall and hurt themselves, especially when they were more little, Gracie's still kind of in that stage. Um, the first one that they come to running to for comfort is mom. And that's because of the, the nature of God that has been put in her. So let's honor that. And uh, ladies, we are uh, appreciative of that nature of God that is in you that we don't have. And uh, Absolutely. we just thank you and we love you for it. So with that being said, I want to turn it over to Pastor Zach to uh, lead us into a time of prayer. Yeah, excellent message. And we want to remind you too, um, first of all, come to church this Sunday. We'd love to have you and we'll celebrate Mother's Day that day as well. And then also, if you have prayer requests, uh, please uh, message us on Facebook, message us, or call the church, and we would be glad to include those um, those requests in our video time here on and Facebook. So. Sometimes if you type them on here while we're doing the video, we don't see them until afterwards because... We're blind. <laughs> yeah. We're pretty far away from the screen, so we can't see what's going on. So we're not ignoring you if you do it that way, uh, but they will be prayed for. Right, but I don't think we have any specific prayer requests today. But uh, obviously keep our, our nation in prayer, our community, all the things that we usually um, want to keep in prayer. So with that being said, let's, let's go to the Lord. Uh, Father, thank you so much uh, for who you are. And Lord, first and foremost, we, we are so thankful that you are um, the, the God of the universe who gives us life. And Father, just as Jason said, help us to, to honor um, the, the mothers in our lives. And Father, I just... I'm so thankful for my mom, the example that she set. I'm um, thankful for the, the example that my, both of my parents have set and given me in my life. And I thank you for that. And, and Father, I just pray that, uh, that we will take time this week to, to go to our mom and, or, or go to our wife and make sure that they understand and know that they are loved and they are appreciated and that the role they play um, is, it just cannot be overstated. And Father, I... I I thank you for who you are again, and I, I pray for our community. I pray for those who are hurting. I pray for those who are sick, uh, maybe in the hospital or, or dealing with um, any number of things. And I also pray for for our nation, uh, that it, that uh, you will heal it. And I know that it continues to be divided, um, 
But Father, help us as the church to be that city on a hill, to be that light that that's, will attract so many people who are hurting and that we will be your hands and feet. And Lord, I pray for our leaders, um, our national leaders, our local leaders. I pray that you help them to make wise decisions. And Father, um, I just pray that you'll help us as the church, especially here in Minerva, to reach out and, and to be um, an image of your Son uh, to the people of, of this community. Lord, we love you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Father, we just thank you again for this opportunity to uh, pray to you, Lord, and um, we thank you for your nature, Lord, that you've... Uh, your image that you created us in, both um, males and females, mankind. Lord, we continually, since the beginning of time, have, have rejected that, and um, we, we've gone more towards, uh, as Jesus declared, you know, he talked about two different fathers. Uh, many times we try and look more like the father of this uh, fallen world, which is the devil, than we do like our Heavenly Father. So I pray, Lord, that you would just help us um, to encourage all of us, Lord, to seek out Lord, looking like that image that we were designed to be in the beginning, we, we thank you and we honor you, Lord, for the, the unique differences that you've given to both of the genders um, because they tell us something about you, uh, something about your nature. And so, Lord, we, we pray, Lord, that you would help us not to be fighting against each other with those differences but that uh, we would do as we were designed to do, Lord, to be able to, to come together and that they would complement each other. Or I pray for all the moms out there. Um, Lord, we all know that just because a woman might not have biologically given birth to someone doesn't mean that she's not a mother to someone. Uh, so we just, Lord, we thank you for all of the ladies that are in our church, Lord, in our life. And we pray, Lord, that you would uh, guide them and just comfort them as they do things to mother others, Lord, to um, uh, just be a positive influence in the lives of others. We thank you for them. Uh, we thank you for this weekend, Lord. Be with our nation. Um, again, as Pastor Zach said, we're, we're very divided. Um, but we pray, Lord, that you would work all things out the way that you would have them to be done and that you would help the church, Lord, to just wake up, Lord, to be able to, to go out and to show this world, our nation, uh, the love of Christ, and that they would be drawn to you and away from the, the things of this world that distract. Lord, be with our leaders. Lord, please bring it into this war that's going on, and uh, we just love you and thank you for everything. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. All right, well, we will see you next week. We did it a, a day early because uh, Zach just doesn't feel like coming to work tomorrow. Right. So, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, we'll see you, we'll see you next week. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day.